Beardos, weirdos, we're back. I say we're back. I've just recorded two videos back to back. This is the third, but yeah, no. And we are going to do Proving Demons again. I know. I know. You all hate him. But I've recently come into ownership. Ownership. I've recently been sent two separate emails containing links and video evidence of him, Mr. Andrew proving fuck all demons, threatening to kill people, telling people he's in the Mafia, <laughs> that he worked for a cartel. <laughs> You've never had a job in your life. I mean, maybe I should watch what I'm saying in case I wake up and there's a horse's head in my bed or something because of this clown. All right, this is Paranormal Nightmare. Don't sell your soul. <laughs> Real and scary, we summoned a demon and demanded answers. <laughs> the last time I watched you try and summon a demon, there was just some strung out goth drawing the wrong shit on the floor with chalk and not so much as a, a breathy voice, a door opening, nothing. There was nothing. But this title is We Summoned a Demon and We Demanded Answers. On the basis of that title, I'm expecting to see fire and brimstone and... Something with black eyes. What the f If I ever come into contact with you, that death whistle is going up your nostril, you prat. The footage you're about to see is not staged or controlled. It's definitely not controlled. It's created by a smack rat. The people you see are not actors. Everything captured on camera is exactly as it happened. This footage may be frightening or disturbing to some. Viewer discretion is advised. I mean, it can't get no worse than you hitting somebody's skull about with a stick and calling it entertainment. You know, I'm not usually a completely superstitious type, surprisingly. But something happened to me today. Today? Yeah, today, while you're out. Okay, what? I went out for a cigarette. I wake up usually with a bit of anxiety first thing in the morning, not feeling on top, it's a normal thing for me. And I saw this in the middle of the garden. What is it? Oh, white feather. Oh, okay. So white feather. It's fucking pigeon feather, you. I'm gonna skip his intro because it's always full of the brown stuff. He's just said he's not superstitious, he's woken up feeling poorly, and he's found this. It's a feather in his garden, outside the house. What are the chances of finding a feather outdoors? My mind is blown. Dickhead. Still standing. Yes. That looks nice. I imagine it's the last place he lived before he ran off with her. Cool. Let's, uh... Take a step inside and see what we're working with. By the way, I received an email and basically said that if I watch her channel, nine times out of ten, they do her randonautica videos together when nothing ghosty woasty spooky whoopy happens. And then they go, right, it's getting dark. We're going to go over and do the Proving Demons video. And then all of a sudden, ghosts everywhere, demons everywhere, everything scary, spooky in the same building. The only difference is the dark. Now I understand why ghost hunters go out in the dark. It adds to the ambiance for the viewer. Also, the chances of being discovered or people turning up randomly walking their dogs, etc. The later at night, the less are less likely. I understand that. But you can't be wandering around these places all day with nothing happening and then turn up in the dark and they claim that there's demons and shit. So I'll use my foot and I'll start clearing yeah, this up. Tell you what, there's no point in me filming me clearing the room, okay. but... uh. Just clear it and then we can get some. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my god. That's so creepy. <laughs> what the fuck have you come dressed as? 
<laughs> ah. Composure has been regained. <laughs> Uh -huh. Whew. Composure has been regained. I can't look at him. I have to stare into the camera because if I <laughs> if I look at um, ordering wish off Batman, you yeah, I'm gonna be gone again. For the atmosphere. Oh hell yeah, yeah. I'll put it this way: I wouldn't want you walking through the bedroom like that at night, three a.m. No. Absolutely. <laughs> you were. Trust me, you were the only person on the planet that would want him walking through your bedroom at any given time. Thing is, it's a mandatory part of the ritual. Put, pull the hood back down. Pull the hood back down. Jesus Christ. I can't mm. not avoid it, so. But I'm loving it. Give us a little twirl. God, Shall that's nice. That twirl was pathetic. Before we actually get into the seriousness, because from this point on, it has to be serious. Of course. I know. So we do a demon <laughs> fashion show. Okay. Oh, give me your best pose. Work it, baby, work it. Arch that back. <laughs> I love it. It's, it's very appropriate. <laughs> oh dear. Right, what else do we need to set up? Or is that everything? It's not everything. I'm gonna just get into it now. Okay. It all has to be done in the road, though. That's part of the requirement. Oh, really? What, the whole process? Yeah. Oh, where did you find that little nugget of information? Was it on the back of your box of educational how to poke skulls? Oh. I thought you just put it on because you got cold. Actually, it's warmer than my winter jacket. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm it's gonna really honest, nice. It's quite nice. <laughs> right, so let's turn up some lights. Do you need this here. light or.? You can use that, okay. That's That'll fine. be fine. He can't use his arms properly. <laughs> like, a, <laughs> like a little T-Rex. Rawr! Rawr! Salt circle. Um. I'd, I'd hate to alarm you, but a circle doesn't have a straight line in it. You tit. I have a feeling that didn't come out in the circle as I wanted. Um, it's not bad. Maybe your shoe just needs a bit of a sharpening up. Yeah, just there. Okay. Okay, that's where I'm going to be sitting. I'm going to have to face north. Please tell me, how are you going to find north? I don't think you know what day of the week it is. It's facing north. Um, hang on. Let me just check. I'll, I'll find it, don't worry. It's okay. I've compass. Compass, that's one. Right, let's have a look. Yeah, slightly canted, so almost aimed to like the corner of the windowsill. That's fine. I'll face this way. Okay. Right. Got to burn some sage while we do this. Are you making a spaghetti ball, mate? Do you need a lighter if you got one? I have one, I'm just trying to find it. Right. Has he got a lighter? Of course you have, it's next to his crack pipe. I don't feel the need to be cleansed. Or do I? Probably by this point, all of this by demon this point, stuff. I think we should. Right, I've had to skip a load. I wanted to get to the nitty gritty. I want to find the demon. If he proves a demon, I'll eat Batman. Right. Thankfully, this one's an easy one to do. You struggled with a circle, lad, so I'm not too uh, hopeful. Okay. Simple as. Perfect. 
Do the letters not matter on the outside or? No, that's that's just to make the symbol look cool, I guess. Okay. Nothing on this crazy ball of rock flying around the solar system that we are on will make that look cool. Brat, comment down below. Is he supposed to be drawing the letters around this thing? All right. As not air, Abaddon, Avasha. I mean, I've used the candle. I've used the chalk. Where's my demon? Oh shit. That's a bathrobe. It's not a bathrobe. It's a demon summoning hood. Yes, it is. It's a demon summoning hood. It's a bathrobe. No. I'm out. God damn it. Hang on. Before we continue. Did you hear that? The crackling. No? Can't say it, Okay. Right. Before we continue from this point, okay? Mm hmm. That's not air, Abaddon Abahe. That's not air. Oh, it wasn't just me, this body's falling asleep as well. Cool. I'm not here to fight you. By the way, this is clear, there's clear, whoa. Whoa, that was a massive burst. There's clearly no electricity here. He's doing it again, it's spiking completely. Okay, right. so that's interesting. The room is filled completely with EMF, which is what we believe spirit and entities to be made up, is maxed out. God. It is completely maxed out, it's not even, oh. I don't know what it's saying. Going? Is it going? I can hear it. It's like it's coming from the hallway here. Show yourself. K2's going off. K2. K2's going mental over it's there. Going mad. It's going mad. Oh my god, I'm going literally mad. Okay, okay, okay. If there's somebody there, can you bang a bit louder? Okay, uh. Right, I have scrubbed a ton of this because it was just nothing decipherable by a spirit box. They get freaked out. The EMF is going a batshit crazy in there. They're freaking out. The, the As we all know, the EMF is quite easy to manipulate with a phone. If this was happening to any other channel, I might say something like, hey, maybe this is real. Maybe the EMF is having a... But it's this guy, so they're probably just calling each other on the mobile phones to get spikes. <sighs> Holy shit, did you hear that? Oh my god, that voice. No. Okay, I did hear a voice say, hey. Unfortunately, the hey sounded added in. Now, unfortunately, I just scrubbed through pretty much all of that video. It was awful. Nothing happened. Is K2 spiked? But knowing him and her, it's the mobile phones. Uh, there was a voice that said, hey, that I've left in. Which was added in. It sounded added in to me didn't sit right something off with it they said they summoned a demon and demanded answers and they listened to broken words that made no sense on a spirit box they have completely wasted their viewers time they have completely wasted my time but i did oh wow did i laugh that ridiculous costume he wore comedy go do people like him and Lee sit there, edit the videos and not go, oh my god, what am I doing with my life? I need to get a job. Genuine, genuinely, genuinely, the worst paranormal investigation I've watched, ever. Nothing happened despite his claim of, we summoned a demon and demanded answers. You summoned nothing but my laughter. And even the, hey, there was a little burp after it that you let slip. I think you did it. The he sounded like him. There's a couple of other noises they reacted to, which was either his stomach or one point he burped and she said, I heard that. 
Really? So let's sum up the video. He'd been visited by an angel because he found a pigeon feather in his garden. He spilled all his cocaine on the floor in a circle. He dressed up like an absolute prat. He tried to summon a demon for the third time that I've watched and failed to summon anything. He got some really random words through a spirit box. And his missus is stood behind him going, Yeah! 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 It's all real! Get a grip! Absolutely, the pair of you, get a grip. Get a grip on reality. Now, personally, do I believe you can summon a demon? No. Do you two believe you can summon a demon? No. Otherwise, you wouldn't be fucking about with it. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say the demons are not real, or they are real. I have no idea. I've never encountered one. I believe in the paranormal. What I don't believe in is this burk with a tub of salt and a bit of chalk claiming to have summoned a demon because his spirit box and made a voice. And somebody overly the sound going, Hey, I'm never getting this time back. Comment down below. Who told me to watch this? Somebody commented on one of my videos. Go watch Proving Demons new one. It's great. It was actually great for all the wrong reasons. That the hood. It was great to check in on Andrew. Make sure he's well. He's not. <laughs> he needs locking up. Much love, Beardo. Out.